Well, this is the argument I had with Avi Loeb um, when, when he came on my show. He, he talked about this object, Oumuamua, which yeah. is this interstellar object that he claims is either a junk debris or maybe it's a tourist scout or a spy drone. It's for, what's much more reflective, rather, right? It has, it has properties that can't be explained by the typical astronomical, pedantic ways of explaining things. And I told him when he came on my podcast, and I love Avi, and I've had him on many times. I said, Avi, you know, why don't you go after this thing and go track it down? Oh, no, 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 he said. Uh, in a couple of years, one of the most ambitious and important observatories is coming online, and I'll, I'm happy to recommend people that, that work on it to you when it comes out, called the Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile, far, uh, not too far from where my Simon, our Simon's Observatory is. And that observatory, he said, is going to capture thousands of these things, if I'm right. And I said, Avi, what if you're wrong? You know, what if, what if th this is one-time only event? I said, Avi, I'm, I live in San Diego. And San Diego has the following uh, properties. It's the absolute best and easiest place to be a meteorologist on the planet, except for yesterday, a freaking hurricane um, and a tornado and an earthquake. Um, but it's the absolute worst place to be a sportscaster because we, of all the major cities in the United States, we have never won a world championship in any sport. OK, so it's horrible. So last year, then the Padres got into the division uh, series. And I'm a huge Padres fan. Um, I, I should not have said, well, the Padres are in the division series, um, even though it's the first time, you know, in since 19 uh, since Tony Gwynn was playing and, and they've been around for 55 years. Um, I'll just wait till next year. No, 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 no. I, I, I made every I try to get tickets. I scalped. And I couldn't get tickets. Because you don't know if your calculations are correct, but if you believe in what you're saying, track this thing down. And, oh, by the way, Avi, you happen to know a guy named Yuri Milner who's already paying your team and funding you, not personally. He's funding a team called the Break Breakthrough Starshot. Have you heard about this? No. They're going to send uh, billions of little cell phone cameras uh, to Proxima Centauri B. <laughs> That's, You're not supposed to laugh. That sounds insane. You're not supposed to laugh. But anyway, they're spending $100 million okay. on it. Um, and uh, they're going to shoot these things there, and they'll get there in four, uh, 20 years, and they'll transmit at the speed of light. It'll take another four years to get back to the Earth because four light years away. Um, instead of having him spend $100 million on that, why don't you get him to you know, uh, get a little CubeSat and shoot it off and go catch up to Umuamu while it's still in your freaking neighborhood? So that's not totally possible to totally do? Totally possible. It's not it's So not you impossible. think he's resisting that because it doesn't, like he doesn't want it to be disproven because he's getting a lot of attention off of this idea that this is this interstellar object is something from an alien civilization. I think that's too venal. I, I don't think I don't think he's doing it uh, for attention. I just think he's 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 too in love with his numbers. He's too in love with his calculations. Too in love with the idea of it. But, he, so but many he certainly of them. But there is a tempt there has to be a temptation to getting recognition because uh, I had never heard of him until a few years ago and now I hear about him constantly. He's in all these interviews and and uh, this is not disparaging. No, no, I know. It's just that there's a there's an impulse that people have to get, continue to do something that gets them a lot of recognition. Oh, sure. I mean, this is this is the number one If you know, he's if he if it's possible to go take a look at that thing, how much would it cost to go take a look at that thing? It would probably cost less than a billion dollars, say. And this guy that he's friends with is uh, and far be it for me to tell a billionaire how to spend his or her money. But I'm just I saying. I don't think you're going to talk Elon Musk into going looking at it. <laughs> right. Well, Elon's another cat. <laughs>